you often hear that the body can absorb only 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal, but this is false. The digestive system does not waste protein about certain amounts. It simply slows down absorption and digests it over the longer period of time. Protein digestion and uh, amino acids release can last 6 to 10 hours. For example, if you eat a pound of steak, you will be digesting that slowly and uh, amino acid release will last up to 10 hours. The small intestine does not just flush out unused protein in adjust the rate of gastric emptying and amino acid transport. And this is why Serge Nubre, who had three pounds of meat in one sitting, uh, had his blood amino acids level steady that would remain up to 10 hours, covering muscle recovery and protein synthesis effectively and uh, res uh, obviously resulting in great uh, muscular development. I'm Dr. Nash Jocic, a former bodybuilding champion. I competed 46 times, won 17 titles. I've been in bodybuilding uh, over, for over 40 years. And during that time, I coached over 3,000 clients and helped them to get in the best shape of their lives. Uh, I've also published 10 books, 10 e-books, which are all available on my website. You can just click the link below. And uh, my e-books are fully loaded with... Uh, detailed explanation and, and fundamental informations that, the information that will benefit you greatly regarding muscle growth, fat loss, competitive bodybuilding, training for beginners, uh, nutrition, fat loss as well, and also competitive bodybuilding. So um, uh, let us uh, dive into the topic. So now let us look at the old scientific argument for five to six meals per day, because for decades bodybuilders believed that, uh, and sports nutrition obviously, that eating more frequent meals every two to three hours are much more beneficial for muscle growth than eating less meals. So um, there are a few of these old ideas which actually led people to believe that and people are still doing that without any physiological uh, explanation or justification. So let me start with the uh, number one idea, old idea, that... Uh, Frequent meals will help you maintain cost, constant supply of amino acid. So uh, uh, muscle protein synthesis is only active when amino acids are available in the bloodstream. Therefore, if you eat more often, this is the old idea, you will constantly supply amino acids in the bloodstream and that will allow you for optimal muscle protein synthesis. Now, uh, this is based on scientific studies which were done in the 80s and... Uh, they show that amino acids spike after a few hours and then drop. So that led many coaches and nutritionists to believe that if you eat more often, you will constantly be on that high level of amino acids presence in the bloodstream. Therefore, your muscle protein synthesis will continue uh, uninterrupted. Now, the problem with that is that uh, the newest researchers have found out that, that, that uh, muscle protein synthesis simply cannot last uh, continuously. After three to five hours, even if amino acids are still high, the muscle become uh, refractory. It needs break before responding again. So small meals basically uh, keep muscle protein synthesis muted rather than maximized. Now the uh, old idea uh, number two is that uh, Frequent meals will keep metabolism high. So that thermic effect of food will actually be much better if you eat smaller, smaller meals more often. And uh, this will keep thermic effect for longer. But uh, <clears throat> this is uh, uh, not necessarily connected to smaller number of meals, but rather to the overall amount of protein that you eat, mainly protein, and also overall amount of calories. So... Uh, the daily uh, energy expenditure or the thermic effect of food does not change if you eat six small meals or you eat the same amount of food in two meals. The number three old idea was that uh, in order to stabilize blood sugar and insulin, you should eat more frequent meals. But in reality, uh, the blood glucose retention are perfectly normal uh, within also if you eat two to three times a day. Uh, in fact, 
fewer meals will improve your insulin sensitivity much better than more meals because more meals you eat your insulin spike will go up as many times as you eat while while if you eat twice per day your insulin will go up but then they will lower and will st- stay low for all these hours six seven eight hours maybe 10 between two meals the number four all idea was that uh, you need to eat more often in order to enhance recovery and prevent catabolism so um, if you don't eat you will start losing your muscles but uh, muscle protein synthesis after resistance training stays elevated up to 48 hours so it does not stop and uh, amino acids from large protein meals stay in circulation for six to ten hours so if you have two meals per day separated with, with six hours or eight hours whatever you will still have constant supply during that uh, triggered uh, muscle protein synthesis due to the uh, resistance training so uh, as you can see the the old old the scientific studies were lacking lots of data that modern scientific studies have discovered and that led many to believe that more meals per day are better than less but this is not true and uh, modern consensus researches which are done in the last uh, couple of decades like for example Aretta in 2013 then you have Schoenfeld in 2015 Arnold 1999, Mamro 2014, Moore in 2020 and similar have shown that actually meal frequency does not affect gain, uh, muscle gain or fat loss. It's rather the whole amount of protein and, de- and daily uh, amount of calories that you bring into the body are more important for muscle growth and fat loss rather than uh, spreading that over six meals. <clears throat> So in simple terms, the rule of five, six meals per day wasn't based on muscle uh, physiology. It was actually based on misinterpretation of short-term metabolic data. So modern science shows that the body's anabolic machinery is far more adaptable and meal frequency is actually a tool rather than a rule. So uh, let me tell you something about the benefits of eating Uh, fewer meals a day fewer meals means a longer anabolic window each protein meal triggers muscle protein synthesis for about three to five hours while with the smaller meals you have that peak but then you have the drop as well because there is a small amount of protein you got digested quickly so basically if you eat uh, 100 150 grams of protein per one meal you get the longer and steadier elevation of amino acids availability less fluctuation and uh, less time in catabolic state so uh, six smaller meals mean six peaks but also six drops two larger meals means constant elevation of amino acids throughout the day now the second one which is very important the second advantage of uh, fewer meals per day is uh, is actually critical for overall health of general population not only for bodybuilders and athletes and this is insulin and growth hormone advantage so uh, with with two meals a day or one meal a day your insulin will spike less frequently so when you have six six meals per day and especially if you have carbohydrates in every single one your insulin levels will spike every time uh, after the meal so you will have constant spike of insulin level and you will end up in that ins- vicious insulin cycle basically your insulin will be elevated throughout the day this is something that you don't want to enter that cycle is not very good for your health and also for your uh, fat loss so uh, if you have less insulin spikes then your fat oxidation will be much higher so you will be burning more fat because insulin will be lowered and glucagon will go up so you want glucagon up and insulin down and eating once or twice per day is absolutely perfect scenario for that particular uh, effect now when it comes to growth hormone uh, growth hormone secretion basically uh, rises between the meals and improves fat loss and muscle preservation so if you eat once 
you have so many hours until the next meal tomorrow, or if you eat twice, again, you have good seven, eight hours between the meals. And in those period, because insulin will come down, growth hormone will get elevated. So this is the perfect scenario for everybody who wants to benefit from growth hormone uh, as an anabolic agent and also as a most uh, effective fat burner. Now, if your insulin levels are always high, as it happens with frequent meals, insulin will override growth hormone and growth hormone won't even be produced because do, these two hormones are not they're incompatible. So this is another extremely important benefit from eating uh, less meals per day. Now, the, the third very important uh, benefit is improved digest the digestion and utilization. So basically, each meal triggers production of hydrochloric acid, bile, and enzyme production. So if you eat six times per day, you will be constantly producing bile and uh, uh, HCL and all other all enzymes necessary for breaking down food, etc. And uh, this makes uh, digestive system working non-stop, eventually impairing absorption efficiency because it, this cannot just go constantly like that. But when you eat once a day, the digestive system has time to rest. It's a massive rest period uh, that which actually allows digestive system for improved gut uh, motility and enzyme activity. Um, meals are fully digested and assimilated with less waste that way. When it comes to amino acid oxidation, uh, waste, basically, that decreases because the body becomes more efficient in reusing nitrogen. So Serge Nubre often said that uh, I never felt heavy or tired after eating. My body used everything. And for everything that I just mentioned, obviously, it was it, it, it is clear that he could have eaten once or twice per day and, and give his body everything needed in order to become that phenomenal uh, sculpture, human sculpture, as we have never seen ever since. Uh, another great benefit is uh, uh, protein retention and muscle growth. So uh, when your protein intake, daily protein intake is high, the meal frequency becomes secondary. Uh, large protein meals, dense meals, can fully saturate muscle protein synthesis, especially if training provides mechanical tension stimulus. As I mentioned before, uh, mus mus muscle protein synthesis is triggered by, by mechanical tension uh, via uh, resistance training. Uh, as long as your daily protein amount is adequate, you will... Uh, have everything needed, all the conditions for muscle growth and uh, fat loss will be fulfilled, regardless of number of meals. Apart from that, I just mentioned all these benefits that you have from uh, eating frequent, uh, less frequent meals. So uh, again, Serge Nubret's two massive feedings with three pounds of, of meat uh, obviously allow him to be in constant anabolic uh, state, fulfill all his anabolic needs, and uh, his training basically increased uh, uh, nut nut nutrition uh, partitioning into the muscle. <clears throat> so if I can uh, uh, summarize the difference between eating once to two times per day and eating small, six small meals per day is uh, eating once or twice per day will give you longer muscle protein synthesis window while six meals per day will give you six short uh, amino acid spikes. Uh, when eating one or two meals per day will, will allow you a higher uh, growth hormone production and fat oxidation, while six meals per day will actually uh, stimulate body to produce more insulin. So uh, ab absolutely opposite effect that you don't want. One to two meals per day means better digestion, Six meals per day means continuous, continuous digestive stress. So if you're thinking about health and longevity, apart from just having big muscles, then eating one or two meals per day is clearly superior. Uh, one meal or two meals per day will allow you for sustained amino acid release, while six small meals will be uh, followed by six short-lived amino peaks. 
uh, one or two meals per day. Everybody knows who try this. It will give you more mental focus and energy. People who start eating less, they'll feel more invigorated, more aware of things, more motivated. While six small meals will guarantee you constant hunger and fatigue. Because when your insulin goes up and down, the spike of insulin means uh, drop in blood sugar, that means hunger. And then again, and again, and again. So you'll be state in the completely opposite state. So I believe that, uh, <clears throat> that this is um, uh, clearly uh, something extremely important and you will most likely agree with me. And the next best thing to do is actually to try yourself. So if you're eating six, time, six times per, per day, try to cut down to four, eventually three. When you get used to that three meals, then try two. But bear in mind that you, in those two meals, you still have to have the same amount of protein as you had when you were eating six meals. So if, if you're eating six meals with, let's say, 300, 400 grams of protein, two meals means that you will have to have up to 200 grams of protein per meal, which will roughly be around uh, about two pounds of steak. So uh, it's, it's something extremely important and very, very, again, uh, beneficial I'm not saying this as the rule. I'm giving you an option again. So something that you can try. And again, something that will help you to think outside the box. So if you are constantly obsessed with food and you eat six times per day and you're not in shape, maybe feeling fatigued or, or constantly hungry, then I think this would be the, the, the best thing to try. So try to lower the number of, of meals, eventually hitting that one or two meals per day for best results. So I've tried it and it worked phenomenal. When I get my clients ready for the show, they are never eating more than three meals, some of them eating two meals, and they're ending up shredded and covered in veins. None of them is eating six, seven meals per day. So uh, guys, uh, <clears throat> I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel if you didn't. And also um, like the video, also send, send me your comments because uh, people do answer and answer other people's comments. I will also be getting involved there. And I will use this opportunity again to remind you that uh, uh, I have published uh, uh, 10 ebooks which are fully loaded with detailed information about nutrition, competitive diet, training, muscle growth, fat loss, lifestyle change, and everything that you always wanted to know about bodybuilding. So if you're interested in uh, expanding your knowledge and widening your horizons, please click the link below in the comments and uh, you can access my ebooks. Apart from that, uh, I would ask you kindly to also uh, watch this video in which I offer other services uh, on my website like uh, personalized training programs, personalized nutritional programs. There are thousands of people who have benefited from this already globally. I also do telephone consultations, online coaching, and for people in London, I do two to uh, one to one to one uh, personal training. So, guys, until the next video, I wish you all the best and take care of yourselves.